my number one fan. If I don't make it, then I just want you to know that I... No. <laughs> I can't say it. Curse my cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. But I love you because you're sensitive. Just hold on. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my rider inside? and sit through big poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My writer only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. Running with wolves seems like a dangerous hobby. You're starting to peeve me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. It's just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker? He had crossed the line. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. said he was down at the beach. Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my writer? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd, he's... Hush your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. <sighs> what did he ever do to you? I, uh, already told you that? At the boatyard? I feel overshadowed. By success, like he's taking everything I can compete. Oh, right. I remember now. It's a self-confidence thing. Uh, w well, it's a bit more complicated than that. You are going to tell me where he is, or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. You are rude, you have no manners, your too-cool-to-care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You... No, stop! I don't like being seen! Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> no! He 
trick. Even with my famously keen perception. I knew you, my number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise, and just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. in me. We were kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. The stakes had never been higher.
I have to get to that mansion before they hurt a single mahogany hair on my writer's head. Myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. <laughs>
finish me off. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair, but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to.
After all the fighting, we were finally alone, together. Our love was written in the stars, and so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. He needed me, now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. A fan and the object of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But is happiness like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder? Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs.